Hello, my name is Edward. Welcome and greetings to Medium Tarot TV channel. This is actually a video for the Ask Spirit video series, and this is number six. It's going to be titled, Romeo, Wherefore Out Thou? Romeo. So the actual question, well, first I should say, if you would like to be uh, included in the monthly lottery. Once a month, we choose, well, we meaning spirit, chooses someone and you receive in the spirit form whoever I'm working with, that they're all energetically connected, depending on your energy and your question. And to be included, we ask that you subscribe to our e newsletter, which goes out every new and full moon, so twice a month, and our Let's see, e-newsletter and our YouTube channel. And you should have the same name. Just saying, makes it easier. All right, so this was the question that, that we received. I have had challenge, challenges with finding the right partner for a long-term relationship in my life. The actual question is, is there anything I can do to manifest the right man into my life? Now, when I first got the title, Romeo, I thought it was Romeo, where art thou? I haven't studied Shakespeare. And then I did a search and I found out that it's really wherefore. And that does not mean where. That actually means, because this is going to be a clue as to, um, for this message for this person. And perhaps for some other people as well. It actually means why is this guy that I am into, in this reference, or let's say person, that I am into not who I think that they should be? So there is a clue that we have to get our mind out of the way. Now, originally when I received this question about a month ago, the original thought that came to mind was their mind is in the way. Now, no judgment. <laughs> I've been there. There's no judgment. But we do have to get our mind out of the way. All right, so let's get to the... Oh, so first I did a quick read on this person and love. Because this is almost impossible to do one spread. This is more involved than one question, but we're giving it a shot. So this is, please keep in mind, this is the abridged version, abridged answer. All right. So... What I received for this person and love is that they want a commitment relationship, bottom line. That means no quickies, no one night stands, no fooling around, no love affair. Love affair, I attribute to tripping the light fantastic, but you do not have a commitment. So this person wants a commitment very well. Wants it to be long-term. Very well. Has a certain idea of what love is. A romanticized idea of what love is. They also want to grow and physically travel with their partner. Okay, great. So that's alluding to this person should not compromise by fooling around because you are you would be telling yourself well I'm just gonna do this until the person comes around but what you're really telling yourself is you're telling the universe ah I'll compromise it's not really possible for me to have that one true partner committed future partner I mean long-term partner I'm not saying this is easy but you have to be careful not to give, I'm just saying, just in case, this is mic, not to give mi mixed signals to the universe. So it's very easy, well, easier, I should say, to abstain and not trip the light fantastic with anyone. But to think it is another thing. To think, you know what? No, I am truly going to have a partner and I am not fooling around on any level, even with the thought that that it's not possible just because it's been a while. Mm. That has to go. Bye-bye. Erase that thought. All right. 
Very well. Now the actual message is you get one of the cards that came up in the... Well, actually, you I have to say you have a very romanticized way of looking at love and partnerships. Is that a problem? It's only a problem if you cannot equate who you should be with with who you are attracted to. Okay? You are kind of like mind fracking yourself. You know, I'm kind of changed that word, but you know what I'm saying. That's what you're doing to yourself. There's a battle royale within. So you have to relinquish and succumb to the type of man that you are attracted to and be okay with that. Now, you want them to be certain qualities. Yes, you want them to be commitment-oriented. You want them to be monogamous. Fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? But the idea, the picture that you have in your mind of how they're supposed to look or be, either or, doesn't matter, is fracking you up. Okay? No judgment. I've been there. You know, it's all growth process. Now, what's going to assist you is your inner child. So we're going to recommend that meditation that we're always talking about. If you watch our videos, it's called Magical Child to Loving Your Inner Child to assist us with reconnecting and reestablishing a relationship with our inner child. Because you need to bring out the fun. What happened to the fun part of you? It's kind of buried under your mind. Now, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. United Negro College. That was an old uh, TV commercial. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being mind-oriented, but your mind is actually blocking your partner from coming in or allowing it to be. Okay. Either way, uh -uh, it's a no-no. Okay? So our mind can be utilized, uh, contributed to modern day. Olden day would be a sword. Modern day, a knife. So we can cut our food or we can cut ourselves. By cutting ourselves, in this instance, our mind is blocking. All right. So that's why I personally do guided meditations because I have an extremely active imagination, which is great, but also an active mind, which sometimes it can go, you know, run amok. Or muck amuck amuck. Hocus pocus. But what that means is project into the future all the things that could go wrong. All right. So meditation will assist you by putting your fears, your doubts, your worries, and having them at bay where you accept them, you understand them, you recognize them, but you're not being blocked by them. You're still taking action. All right. Now. You are to ha have in your mind, in your mind's eye, that you will be with this man. You will be with this partner. It's truly a partner. It's truly, truly, truly a partnership. So you just have to go out and about, do your thing, gravitate towards what you resonate with. Because energy will attract energy. So you're to be active. You're to go out and about, do your thing. Go to, you're not to actively look for your partner. Let your partner find you. So it's like energy matching energy. But you're to be active. That doesn't mean to sit at home and do nothing. Okay? Because mm -mm -mm. you get the energy of action, activity, out and about. Okay? So you need to be out and about. I'm not saying do something you don't want to do. That's not at all. It's what you resonate with because the energy will match the energy, you and your partner. All right, let me see if there's anything else I can say here. There is a partner waiting for you. But don't get trapped, and keyword is trapped, in your mind of what you think they should look like or a way that they should be. Be open to all the possibilities. Of course you want to be attracted to them. All right, that's a given. They will have the majority of qualities that you want them to have. They're not going to be perfect because no one is perfect. 
If you want perfect, then you go for a real doll. I'm not saying to go for that. I'm just saying perfect. Mm -mm. Forget about perfect. Okay? Forget about perfect. Go for someone that you resonate with, you're compatible with, and you grow together. Okay? So you have your own life. They're going to have their own life. And when you're together, you have a life together. So there's three lives involved. Okay? Not just one. Okay? All right. Be okay if they are younger. Okay? You don't want them to be immature, but be okay if they are younger. I'm just saying that I'm, you know, I don't know if this has to do with your past, present, or future, but these are all energies that are preventing your partner from coming in. Okay? You're gonna know as an, on an individual basis. Personally. Alright, I think that's it. That's what's coming up. Alright, so. This was, for lack of a better term, this was a quickie. Just keep in mind, <laughs> which is what you should avoid. This is, you know, this is just a brief look and scan. Okay? All right. I hope you enjoyed and resonated with that energy message. So, for everybody, thank you for watching. And again, if you would like to be included in the monthly lottery, then please subscribe to our e-newsletter list and our YouTube channel. Should be the same name. Okay? Make it easier. All right. So thank you for joining us. And until next time we connect, Romeo, oh Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Let's let um, either Romeo or Juliet, whatever you um, desire, let's let them find us. Okay? All right. Thanks for joining us. Take care.